Good morning, Dawn of Faith viewers. It's another new good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So I'd like us to consider something shortly today, but the title, Dark Providences. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we once again want to thank you for this privilege to come here and even share in your word and to seek your face. Father, may you continue blessing us richly and may, may your word grow in us. May you make us better and loving Christians to your glory and for our good. For this our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So our topic for today is dark providences. This is more of an oxymoron. You know providences that are actually dark. So it's dark providences and sometimes God's providences can actually seem to be dark. They might seem to be dark to us but God actually uses them to achieve something good, something good in us. So in Exodus chapter 14, the Israelites had just left Egypt. These were slaves that were suddenly free. So they had gone out to the desert. Then Pharaoh realized, no, I think I made a mistake. We need to get these people back. So he gets 6,000 chariots and his soldiers and they pursue the Israelites. So the Israelites had gone, you know, quite a distance into the, for, into, the, into the desert and they were to cross the sea. So in that moment, when they are waiting to cross the sea, looking back, they saw dark clouds of dust. The Egyptians were pursuing after them. So these were very harmless, you know, with no weapons, slaves who were in the desert, being pursued by a very great and mighty, and mighty army. So darkness, darkness fell and they had to camp by the sea. And behind them, they were aware there was an army that was actually after them. We know there was a cloud, a pillar of cloud between them and the Egyptians, but it was very dark at night. They were worried. They didn't know what was going to befall them because they didn't know how to cross the sea. Behind them, there was an enemy and there was a whole desert lying on both sides. So in verse 21 of chapter 14, Moses had this record, and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. My focus here will be all that night. The Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night. We all understand it was a terrible night. Guys were shivering, they didn't know what to befall them. But the Bible tells us that God was causing the wind, the sea to go back all that night. You know, from the early nights to the late nights, all that night, God was at work. So when the children of Israel awakened the next day and they found the water had parted and there was a great, and there was, and there was a dry land, this they were just seeing what God had been working on all that night when they were very sorrowful, when they were, you know, when all their hopes of a brighter day had been dashed, God was working all that night. And maybe in your life you have, you know, right now you have dark episodes and it seems as if you cannot see or even trace God, you know, working in your life. But just be assured that all that night, not the next day, all that night, God is working in your life. The next day simply manifests what God has been working on that whole night. So is there any, is there any place that you have gotten that seems so dark? You believe to see, but you are not seeing. It's all dark in the night. Just know that, like in the case of the Israelites, God is causing the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night. You may not see it, but all that night in your life, as you believe God, He works. All that night, the Lord was working. You know, working in the tempest blast. He was working in the swelling current. He was working, you know, in the flowing flood that was flowing free and fast. All that night, as God's children, you know, awaited, hearts perhaps in agony with the enemy behind them and in front, the cruel sea. All that night, that seemed so black, and dark all that night, God was actually working. So my dear viewer, even as you start this day, you could be having a very dark, a very dark night. Be assured, 
that the victory will just be a manifestation of what God is doing in your life. So sometimes God will use dark moments in our lives to make his providence known. So when you think that all is lost, just be assured, like in the case of the Israelites, that all that night God was at work. And during the day, you'll see a dry land and you'll see the waters of your troubles have been divided. So let's be encouraged. Let's know that God is not absent. God is working in our life all that night. May you be blessed. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for today and for your assurance that even in our darkest providences, Father, you are at work. May you give us grace. May you open our eyes to see you working on our behalf. Father, even as we start this day, may you show yourself strong on our behalf. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.